So, here we are, y'all, a week after watching Digimon Last Evolution Kazama. Now, spoiler alert, if you ain't seen the movie, get the hell on up out of here. Alright, bounce! Hit the like button, but bounce! Get on up out of here! Because we're getting ready to talk about the very heavy, and I mean heavy, emotional ending to Digimon Last Evolution Kazana and why it was so emotional for not only me, but all of us in the Digimon fandom. Why that ending hit us on an emotional level so deeply. Whew. We might cry this video, y'all. Let's talk about it. So, early last year, when the first Digimon Last Evolution Kazana trailer came out, we were anticipating that this will be the ultimate goodbye between the Digi Destin and their Digimon. We were ready to accept that. We were anticipating it. I read the subtitles, so I knew what I was getting. And when you actually know what you're getting ready to get, it's easy to just say, okay, when it happens, I'm gonna be prepared for it. It's not really anything too heavy. I know what's getting ready to happen. I got it. But when a movie can set it up in a way that hits you deeper than what you thought it would, that is a special film and that is a dynamic scene. So at the end of Digimon Last Evolution Kazana, after the enemy is defeated, and everything else subsides. We have Matt, who's in a separate location from Ty. And they're each with their Digimon partners. And there's this very emotional goodbye where the Digivice ends up turning into stone as Ty and Matt are saying goodbye to Agumon and Gabumon. Gabumon sees Matt pull out his harmonica. Whoo! And Gabumon said, I want you to play it for me. I'm like, fuck, on my couch, right? I'm like, man, you know, pimps don't cry. Players, we don't cry, man. We good, man. We, we some killers out here. But that hit me on an emotional level like I wasn't ready for. And I was thinking to myself, like, man, bruh, why did I cry when that scene happened? And the reason why is so deeply layered for me right in that moment for me it was the end of an era like bruh i remember watching the first few episodes of digimon on fox kids in 1999 i don't remember too much from 1999 because i was like five when digimon premiered so i don't remember too much but <laughs> I remember watching Fox Kids and seeing these characters grow over the years. Seeing Ty go from being a kid, right, to him being a preteen in Adventure 02, to seeing them all be teenagers in Adventure Try, to now them being young adults going through the struggles that we go through as adults and Digimon Last Evolution Kazana. It was the end of an era when they were saying goodbye. And that's one reason why it hit me so deeply. Another reason is because a lot of times anime don't have that heartbreaking ending. Anime are always afraid to do that. A lot of anime treat the viewers like we at church. Y'all know how when you go to church and in the church, everybody start dancing. <laughs> you got the choir over there. And they over there playing the music and everybody's, hey, fucking good time, everybody. Hey, all right, Pastor, we're going to see you next week. And they're doing all that to build your ass up, to come bring that money right back to the church next week. Come on now, we need you next week. So we don't want to destroy you on your way out. A lot of anime <laughs> have endings that are like church. 
And they're doing all of this gospel dancing. Like Naruto, Shaputin. I love Naruto. But damn. Him not killing Sasuke. Sasuke coming back to the village and knocking up Sakura. And Naruto knocking up Hinata. Having all these damn babies. I'm like, fuck. They ended this shit like cheaper by the dozen, man. Like church. <laughs> and I did not like how anime try to have this funky good time ending. Digimon Last Evolution Kazana gave you an emotional ending that was connecting to the audience. That's another reason why I cried. And on a personal note, I'm going to share a story real quick with y'all. Another reason why I cried at the end of Last Evolution Kazana was because Digimon was the anime that brought me and my older brother together, right? My older brother is six and a half years older than me. So by the time 1999 rolled around and I became very obsessed with Pokemon, my brother was kind of transitioning out of that phase into being 13, right? Those preteen years. And Digimon was the anime that kept us connected, right? In his mind, he was Ty. In my mind, I was Matt. So when I saw those characters being separated from their Digimon, I was like, damn. That's like me and my brother's anime. You know, it's, it's ending and it hits you differently. The last reason is because these characters grew like they they grew as the years went on and we grew up with them at the same time. This ain't no ass catch em situation where a motherfucker 10 years old and he's still making 10 year old mistakes 20 years ago. No, this ain't that. This is an adventure where people are getting older and they're maturing. They're changing. And I really did enjoy seeing these characters grow up with us as an audience. That's another reason why I just had tears going down my face at the end of the movie. Like, bruh, y'all been rocking with us for so long, man. And to think it's ending, damn, I just want to say thank y'all. So those are the reasons why the Digimon Last Evolution Kazana ending had me emotional. It had a player getting ready to cry. Anyway, it's been weird, but it's been real. Alright? Now, I'm going to be giving all your goddamn money to the fucking tithes and offering. Alright? That leak ain't going to never get fixed. That washroom ain't going to never get repaired. Keep your damn money. <laughs> Don't let them motherfuckers pimp you like that. Alright. PSA over. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Get out of here, bitch. Yeah, I'm so fly, but you knew though. Like to mix it up, my different items like Maludo. Don't force a nigga, I'm the nigga strange like I'm Hugo. Your mama check a nigga, watch a rollie or a Hugh Blow. Like it really matters, I came with four seasons. They think a lot about my cars, like my new Beamer. Get girls dipping in my seats, you should probably leave her. Nerd nigga with the glasses and the short season.